In this lesson, we're going to look at Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach's great prelude in C major. And this is a piece that you can find in the Well-Tempered Clavier. He wrote two volumes of the Well-Tempered Clavier. They are absolutely wonderful pieces that you should become familiar with. Many of the pieces from the Well-Tempered Clavier are intermediate to advanced level, but at this stage in your playing you can still enjoy them and become familiar with them. So in this piece, there it's based on one basic idea, which is the arpeggiation of some chords, uh, very artfully done, and the notes of the chords become little inner melodies. So I'm going to play a little bit for you to hear, and you can hear the full recording on the sound file from the website. And then I'll talk about how to approach the piece. So, here goes. Okay, so with this piece, we're going to have a repeated pattern from our left hand to our right hand. It's going to start with two eighth notes in the left hand, and the piece is in 4-4 four, four time, so four beats per measure. And each note will receive half a beat for this piece. So you'll count one and, and then with your right hand, you'll play two and, three and, four and. So what you'll want to do to start this piece off is just to form the chords that for each hand rather than playing the notes separately. So in the left hand, if we look at the first measure, I'll just move my right hand out of the way, the left hand will just be the C and E notes. And then in the second measure, it's also just going to be C and E. And then in the third measure, uh, third measure, it's going to be C and D. Now, the way it's written, it will sound like this, but together, it's like that. And then the fourth measure is also C and D. Then the fifth measure is B and D. And then same with the sixth measure, B and D. And then for the seventh measure, it's going to be C and E again, just like the beginning. And then it's going to be C and E again for the eighth measure. Now, looking at the right hand, we'll have these notes. Starting in measure one, we'll have G, C, and E. So together, that will sound like this. And then for the second measure, we'll have the same notes, G, C, and E, ascending, going up, and it will sound like this. Then, in the next measure, measure three, we'll have A, D and F. A, D and F. And together it will sound like this. And then again. And then in the next measure, measure 5, we'll have G, D and F. G, D and F. And then in measure 6, also G, D and F. And then in the seventh measure, G, C, and E. And then in the eighth measure, just like the beginning, G, C, and E. Now, let's put both hands together for these measures. Starting in measure one, we'll have C and E in the left hand, and G and C and E in the right hand. So it will sound like this. Now, in measure two, we'll have the same chord, so we'll just play that again. Then in measure three, we'll have C and D in the left hand, and A, D, and F in the right hand, and it will sound like this. And then we'll play it again. And now, in measure five, we'll have B, D in the left hand, and G, D, and F in the right hand. And that will repeat for measure six. And then for measure 
7, we're going back to the beginning. C, E, G, C, and E. And so everything down at once. And then for measure 8, it's just like measure 7. So let's play that. So now I'll play each chord and call out the measure. So here's measure 1. Measure 2 is the same. Here's measure 3. Measure 4 is the same as measure 3. Here's measure 5. And measure 6 is the same as measure 5. And then here is measure 7. And measure 7 is the same as measure 8, so here's measure 8. Now I'll play all of them one after the next, one measures one through eight, without talking. Now the next stage, next step in your practicing should be taking one measure, measure one, and playing from measure one to measure two. And it will sound like this. Now let's try measure 1 to measure 2 to measure 3, and it will sound like this. Now let's take measures 1, 2, 3, and 4 and put them all together, and it will sound like this. Now let's take measures 3 and 4 and merge those with measures 5 and 6 and it will sound like this. And finally let's take measures 5 and 6 and merge those with measures 7 and 8 and it will sound like this. Let's play the whole, all of measures 1 through 8 together. One more time, it sounds like this. So, the same method will work for the entire piece, so take your time, learn one measure at a time, then merge that with the next measure, and then merge those together, just like putting pieces of a jigsaw puzzle together. And feel free to listen to the sound file, the audio file, on the website, and enjoy.